dirt, mold, and decay. <laughs> Across America, thousands of relics are trapped under layers of muck. Now, three of the best car detailing teams in the country are taking on the grind to get these cars back on the road. In just two days, they'll turn these piles of trash, dead rat, <laughs> into stacks of cash. It's like a different car. This is Dirty Old Cars. Where are we headed to today? Well, we're going to see my buddy Bradley Chapman. What does he got? He's got this 1981 Camaro Z28. You're, you're not from the generation I'm from, right? No, I'm, I'm, I'm young. Yeah, you're young. Sir, you're, you're, you're quite old. Yeah, I'm, I'm older. Quite, Distinguished, quite old. exquisite. But for me, it's memories. My name is Jamie Buchanan. I am the owner and operator of Visual Perfection in Morganton, North Carolina. Um, Caleb started working for Jamie when I was 15. It's the only job I've ever had, and I hope that it's the only job that I will ever have. It will be. I started Visual Perfection 30 years ago in my grandfather's garage. We are a small town detailing operation. We can fix pretty much whatever problem that they have. Sometimes that is a blessing, and other times it, it might be a curse. What's up? Hey, man, what's up? Yeah, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Caleb. Bradley. Bradley, nice to meet you. The cars are back this way. Yeah, I got your work cut out for you right here. We do. Oh my gosh. God. Could not. That's nice and dirty, but nice and dirty. But gracious, look at how thick the dirt is, That's man. That's ridiculous. We got this white Camaro at the auction right around the early 2000s, about when I got my license. We drove it for a little bit and then we let it collect dust and here it was. Here, you look in there. So what do you see? Uh, Tom and Jerry been running around here and he just made him poop on himself. <laughs> this is a rat palace. Mold, mold, and more mold. So do you have a number or you got something to work towards or? Um, wow, I think man. we're going to ask around five. Yeah. What about the blue truck? What's going on with that? We can take a look at it. Yeah. All right, this is a 65 Ford F100. It's just as dirty. Oh, yeah. That's what caught my eye. <laughs> oh, some hey. some right here. Hey. Caleb, you're up, bud. Yeah, Caleb, yeah. you're on, you're on <laughs> that. Is it safe to open the door? OK. Shoo. Yeah. Dirty girl inside and out. Mm. Rough on the lungs. We'll sell this one as well. I don't think we want to sell this. I would like to keep this in, maybe pass it on to one of my kids. All right, so what if we make a package deal? I would like to be about 42 for the Z28. What if I clean the truck for you? I detail it and clean it the best that I can for free, and then we kind of got two birds, one stone. You know what I mean? I got, I got me something. I did something for you, $4,200. If you clean that up, it sounds about right. Sounds good. Yeah? With me. Y'all like it. We're good. Sounds good. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah, appreciate it. That's how you make a deal. Bradley wanted $5,000 for this Camaro, but I got it for 4200 bucks. All I got to do is come back in a few weeks, pick up his Ford F100, give it the mother of all detailings, and it's a win-win, baby. Right there. Wow. <laughs> All right, boys, tell of the tale. She's nasty. That smells like weak old baby poop and rat poop. It looks like there's rat poop in the floor, biggins. There's plenty of it. Yeah, biggins. Yeah, that's Sasquatches. This Camaro is so cool. But listen, there's a lot of things we've got to do to get her back in shape. First, we're going to power wash and obliterate the dirt. Second, we'll clean the tires and the rims. Third, we'll decontaminate the paint. And last, we need to save the seats and the carpet.
This is where the magic starts to happen. You're finally getting to the paint. Now it's like that. <laughs> Squeaky clean, baby. All right. We've got the dirt, the dust, the oil, bug guts, whatever stuff kind of broke free. Now we're to the paint. The big guns are coming. We need the iron eater. This stuff's awful. But how you know it's working is it turns purple. It smells like death. <laughs> iron eater is like this snotty gel-like substance. Once it starts running, it's breaking the metal and the debris off the paint to wash it completely off the car. All right, we're gonna lift it up. I'm gonna start stripping the interior. All right. Let's get it. Wow. There's rat nest. Woo. They built a little condominium back here, haven't they? Smells like the Crypt Keeper. The Camaro is really starting to look amazing on the outside. But we're on to the inside now. And the smell is so bad in this car, it is absolutely atrocious. Now for a good pre-vac over here. Even though the dirt has made a protective layer over the carpet of this thing, we're gonna have to use bioenzyme to make sure that we get the mold out of this to make sure it gives it a fresh, clean scent and not a masked botanical scent. So this is kind of a unique situation on this Camaro. You know when you play in the dirt, how it dries your hands out? The same, blisters. It's calloused up, so it's popped open. So we're going to steam, we're gonna clean that, we're gonna open up those pores to clean it out. So now we're giving it the moisturizer that it needs to take it back in. It's gonna lay into there and just make a nice texture. It's just gonna lay in there and be what it needs to be. Good thing is it went from the Crypt Keeper to the Bath and Body Work. <laughs> Hi, right, boys. So we're putting the final touches on this Z28 before a potential buyer stops by later this afternoon. But first, I've called Bradley to come and take a look at this thing so he can see what's been sitting in his garage all of these years. You're not gonna believe this thing. Are you ready? Can't wait. Hi, right, boys. Crazy, isn't it? That is wild. I never thought they would turn out that good. This thing looks sharp. That is truly night and day. Oh, yeah. Truly night and day. We decontaminated the outside of the car in the wash process. We took the layers of skin off this snake, then we polished it, brought it back up. That's what gives it such a shine and such a gloss. Brings back a few memories. I think my cousin would love to drive this thing. I know he would. Look at this. Man. <laughs> yeah, that smells 10 times better, right? I took everything out of it. We really opened the pores up of that stuff so we could get that stench out where the rats had had their Taj Mahal everywhere. I think from the time we got it to now, I, <laughs> like this is probably the cleanest it's ever been. This guy is actually going to be coming this afternoon to look at this thing. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you might not have to worry about it. Yeah? Um, yeah, I'll just take it back. So I bought it for 4200 I would think, for you, 7500 bucks. Man, you just got this thing two days ago. Now, look, we didn't just work 8 to 5. You know, we, we was working 8 to 8. Yeah, I mean, I really like it. Maybe we can make a deal around 65. That's great. I ain't even swapped the title over yet. That huh? makes less paperwork. We're good to go, right? That sounds great, man. I appreciate really, it. Really, I know. I appreciate it. This was a fantastic deal. I bought the Camaro for 4,200 bucks. I sold it back to Bradley for 6,500 bucks, and I made 2,300 dollars in profit in just two days. And I'm still gonna pick up his Ford F100 in a few weeks. Listen, it's a win-win all day long.